Hey, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you all about choosing the right college or university, but with a twist, okay? The goals that we have in mind with this video are how do you choose the right college or university if you're trying to earn a college degree, an entire bachelor's degree, in less than one year for less than $10,000, okay? How do you choose a university that's going to allow you to do both of those? If that sounds good, then let's dive in. Hi, I'm Ryan Swate, and I used to be a two-time college dropout, making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how. All right, so I know it sounds crazy, but yes, you can earn a college degree in less than a year. I've seen people do it in literally as little as three to six months. I personally did it in nine months with a wife and kids while working full time, literally just did it in my free time. You have to choose the right school. That is the first thing that you have to get right if you're trying to accelerate a degree. So the first and foremost, number one thing that you need to make sure of and I wanna get this out of the way because it's really, really important. Number one, when you're choosing a school, you need to choose a school that is regionally accredited, okay? Colleges and universities, they can be accredited. Basically, they can get approval, basically standard of education approval by accreditation boards across the country. And that's basically what determines whether it's a really high quality degree or from a high quality university or if it's not, okay? And there are two types of accreditation. There's national accreditation and there's regional accreditation. And believe it or not, national is the lower accreditation and regional accreditation is the highest tier of accreditation that a college or university can achieve. Now, there are lots of regionally accredited schools that will allow you to accelerate your degree. There are the big name schools. University of Michigan has an accelerated program. University of Wisconsin, Northwestern University, Texas A&M, uh, Purdue has an online branch that's, that's pretty awesome. There are online schools, really high quality online school, Western Governors University. There are tons and tons of schools that allow you to accelerate degrees. But make sure whatever school you're looking at is regionally accredited, okay? So that's number one. If you don't know, you can call the school on the phone, ask them about their accreditation and where they can view, where you can view their accreditation and they can get you some information. Every school is different. They usually have it somewhere on their website, but do a deep dive and make sure that the school is regionally accredited. Too often, I talk to people on the phone who are wanting my help to get degrees faster, and they say, you know what, 20 years ago, I actually got a college degree, but it wasn't accredited, and the school went out of business, and now my degree's worth nothing. You don't want to make that mistake, so make sure your degree is regionally accredited. Number two, you want to make sure that the college or university you're choosing allows you to test out of all of your classes, okay? What that means is you literally can take an exam instead of going through the course material. So instead of reading the textbooks and attending the lectures and doing the homework assignments and taking the quizzes and the science projects and all of that, instead of all those things, if you pass a single exam for each class, you get in full credit for the class, okay? Now, a lot of colleges and universities claim to have programs like this. So I wanna kinda let you know what you need to be aware of so that you don't end up trying to accelerate a degree but you choose the wrong school and it takes you longer. A lot of schools, first off, they tell you they have accelerated semesters. A, a lot of times what this looks like is eight week semesters where you can take like up to two classes per eight weeks, okay? These are not the programs that we're looking for, okay? We're literally looking for 100% self-paced programs where the college literally allows you to get full credit for a class as soon as you pass an exam. 
So you, you have to take a math class. If you finish that math exam in one day, you literally get credit for the entire class in one day. Okay. So none of these eight week or, or nine week or 10 week programs, you want a hundred percent self-paced on top of that. This is really important. Do they have a really good online program? Because if you're sitting in classrooms and attending lectures, it's always going to take you longer. If you can do this sitting in your pajamas in your bed, life's going to be a lot easier and you're going to get it done faster. So do they have a really, really good online program? Okay. So you're looking for a test out of all your classes at your own pace and being able to do it online. Now, to test out of classes at your own pace, this is called competency-based education. Does the school offer a competency-based education program? And is the program 100% self-paced, okay? Because a lot of competency-based programs, they'll, you'll have to pass several milestones for each class. You want the programs that literally one exam, you're done with the class, okay? So that's what you're looking for. There are some schools that say, yep, we have programs like this, but you have multiple assignments. You go through the assignments, you take the quizzes, you take three tests. And then once you're done with that, you get credit for the class. That's going to take you longer. Okay. You want one exam for each class, maximum two exams. Sometimes schools have most of their classes are one exam. Some of their classes are two. So keep that in mind. Okay. Having said this, there are always going to be some classes where you do an essay instead of taking a multiple choice test. That's okay. Okay. Now the next thing you want to look for is a school that offers flat rate tuition. We talked about how to do it faster. Okay. Now we're going to talk about how to do it cheaper. You want to pay like maximum of 10 grand for your entire degree, because guess what? If you only owe 10 grand in tuition, it's easy to get $10,000 in scholarships. It's easy to get that covered with grants and things like that. But if you have a 90,000, which is actually the average cost of tuition in the United States, if you have a $90,000 tuition bill, you're not going to get 90 grand worth of scholarships unless you're an incredible athlete or musician or had perfect grades in high school. But a normal person can go and get $10,000 in scholarships if needed. Okay. So how do you do it in under 10 for under $10,000? Well, there are a few different types of payment structures that colleges or universities offer. Some universities are traditional and they offer basically tuition structure where you pay per credit. Okay. They'll say, all right, we charge $500 per credit and it's 120 credits to get a, to get a bachelor's degree. Okay. Or we charge $250 in credits, 120 credits to get a bachelor's degree. Okay. The, the thing that's not cool about that is if you finish those 120 credits or 40 classes, if you finish all those in less than a year, but you're paying per credit, you're still paying for four years of tuition. So you can be stuck in a situation where you're like, yay, I did this faster. I got my degree really fast, but I'm $80,000 in debt. That's not the situation you want to be in. What you want to look for are schools that offer flat rate tuition, flat rate tuition. What that means is you pay a flat rate for an entire semester and you want to make sure that the school you choose basically offers unlimited credits per semester. So you can take unlimited classes each semester. So for example, my first semester in college, I earned 87 credits. I did that in one semester. Guess what? I earned 87 credits and I only had to pay for one semester. It was a couple of grand. Okay. And scholarships and grants paid for that. I came out of pocket like a hundred dollars for my first semester. Okay. So, you want the school to basically have no limit on how many credits you can earn each semester and flat rate tuition, which means you pay for a semester and then you churn through as many classes as you possibly can. So these are the criteria, these three things to be able to find a rock solid university 
that's going to basically yield a really high quality degree, but a lot faster in as little as six months for way less intuition. Now, once you've chosen the school, the important thing is to follow the right process so that you can actually do this faster. My, if you want an accelerated degree, my recommendation is to use a process that I call degree hacking, okay? And it's essentially testing out of your classes, moving through much more quickly, skipping the homework assignments, skipping all the little mini essays and busy work projects, not reading the textbooks, not sitting through lectures, skipping all that and just taking exams, okay? If you wanna learn how to do that, I'm gonna leave a link down below in the video description that's basically a video where I lay out the three-step process of degree hacking, okay? So that you can go and hack college, graduate in months instead of years, and save literally tens of thousands of dollars in tuition. If you have any questions about anything we've talked about in the video or anything about college degrees in general, you're welcome to leave comments down below. I do my best to answer every comment. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell, and then you'll start seeing more videos where I teach you how to graduate faster, how to not make college mistakes, how to save a whole bunch of money on tuition, and more. I hope you've gotten value from the video, and I will talk to you in the next video.